A local woman accused of embezzling more than five million dollars from a nonprofit pleaded guilty today. If only a green was known in the area for donating wedding gowns to military brides. Well, now she's preparing to serve time. DC Bureau Chief Sam Ford live from U.S. District Court with what happened there today in this case. Sam. Liani Fonia Green had worked for the Association of American Medical Colleges since 1998. And she admitted in court today, helping herself to their funds to create a business for herself, buy homes, vehicles. The dress that I've always dreamed of having, I'm actually getting an opportunity to get it. She made so many military women happy, they called her the fairy godmother because she donated wedding gowns to hundreds of military brides from her shop in Upper Marlboro. It just touches me so that I'm able to put a smile on someone else's face. But in D.C. federal court this afternoon, Ifonia Green pleaded guilty to stealing more than $5 million from the Association of American Medical Colleges, where she worked as an administrative assistant. She did it with phony invoices. Court papers say she set up a bank account for the Brookings Institute, then sent her employer phony invoices from the Brookings Institution, the think tank, and the association paid 225 checks over the years, totaling $3.7 million. In a statement, the association said words cannot adequately express the sense of betrayal since we learned of Ms. Green's long concealed scheme. In Upper Marlboro, it was business as usual at the bridal shop. Outside, those who learned of the guilty plea. Oh my goodness, that's awful. Oh, her, from her employer. And hopefully she'll have to pay that money back somehow, some way. Five million dollars, wow, that was impressive. Now everything she's accomplished is lost. The bridal shop, along with the million dollar house she and her husband own, are among items that she will be selling to make restitution. Under the plea deal, she would get between 41 and 51 months in prison and have to pay a fine of up to $75,000. Court papers say that she claims that she gave a lot of the stolen money to her church. She will be back here at court for sentencing February 28th. Reporting live from U.S. District Court, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News. Okay.